Hey guys, uh, Chris here, and talk to you today about some basics. I'm going to be going through a bunch of basics, but this one is the list stations command. I'm going to use emulation. Uh, you can use Jedi. I'll show you the differences between them, but I'll start off with the emulation. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my, my PBX here. It's an Avaya uh, Communication Manager 5.2. And once I'm in, I start by simply typing the command list station. And you can see it brings up a list of stations that are in my system. And I can page through them by hitting my page down on my keyboard or clicking next page here. And as you can see, it shows all the stations that are in my system. Now, let's say I have a bunch of stations, a, a, a number of stations that are in my system, and they're all different ranges. Okay, let's say I have 1,000s, I have 3,000s. Well, you can, you can expand that command uh, by starting at the certain one you want. So if I do list station 3,000, it's going to only show you the one you asked for. So how do you show a range of stations that are available in your system? Well, you simply type it by list station 3,000 count 10. And now it's going to show me starting at 3,000. And, and take note, if you don't have a 3,000, let's say you have a 3,000 and it starts at 3,005, well, that's where it's going to start at, okay? Just, just an FYI. So, <clears throat> and it's only showing me the 10 that I asked to bring back, a count, which is nice because you're only looking for a specific range. You, only, you don't want it to bring back all the other stuff that's in your PBX. This is a great way to find uh, stations. So let's do this in Jedi. I'm going to open up Jedi, and my connection's already connected, so it's going to it's going to connect much faster here. See, there you go. And I type list station count 3,000. Um, whoops, my bad. <laughs> Let's do that again. List station uh, 3,000 count 10. And you're going to see it brings it into a grid format. Which is nice. It's it's nicer on the eyes, and you can export this information if you want. You can export uh, out to a, a CSV file or text file, and you can import it into Excel or Access Database or whatever, and you can manage all your your DID information there or non-DID or whatever. But this is the main difference between Jedi and emulation. I use Jedi simply for listing things and not tracing. I'll talk about that later. But just listing things because, it, again, it gives me it in a nice format. I can see a lot more on the page uh, rather than in the in the emulation form. But that's it. Pretty, pretty simple task to do. Uh, again, you can narrow down what you're listing station-wise. Um, but, again, this is just a quick tip on, on how to do a list station. Again, the basics for, for uh, people who are new to the Avaya system. So, Hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate your time. Again, subscribe, keep watching, and I'll have more to post up soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.